Hi, and welcome to Majestic.Cloud. I am Laszlo, and today I'm going to show you how to use EFS from AWS Lambda. As you might know, EFS, or Elastic File System, is an AWS service offering a fully managed elastic and shared file system that can be integrated with other AWS services or used from on-premise uh, setups. Up until now, it was not possible to use EFS with Lambda, but now AWS released EFS for Lambda functions, and this solves another big inconvenience while working with Lambda functions, th the disk size. Before, you could only use the temporary storage of the Lambda environment, which was ephemer ephemeral. It was lost when you uh, restarted, uh, I mean the um, Lambda container was shut down. Um, and it also had just uh, 512 megabytes of space. So if you had a big code library that uh, needed to be included or uh, you needed to store files uh, on a, the temporary disk drive, then uh, you had um, issues with that. So uh, in these cases, uh, now it's uh, easier to use Lambda because you can mount the EFS drive to your Lambda function and it just works. I will show you now how to do it. I am now on the EFS landing page and I will now create a file system. So let's uh, select here the default options. I mean leave them on the default stuff. We look here and here everything also will be the default then here we will need to set up an access point so let's click on access point and here i will say some path um, user id let's use 1001 and the same for group id and then let's go and set up the path which will be some path this is a directory uh, which will exist on the EFS drive and this directory will be mounted to uh, the your lambda function then for e owner user id still 1001 and same for this group id and for permissions let's set up 750 okay let's go to the next step and ju let's just create the file system so this should take a bit of time let's go back to lambda here i will create two functions one of the functions will write to the file system and the other one will read from it so let's create the first function here i will just leave uh, author from scratch the function name will be write to EFS. Uh, I will use Node.js 12. Um, I will want to create uh, a new role with basic Lambda permissions. So let's create the function. And once the function is created, we will need to edit this uh, basic uh, role and add some additional permissions to it. So I'm waiting for the Lambda function to finish the creation process okay it finalized so let's go here on the permissions tab and here we have this role the execution role let's click on it it opens in a new tab and I will want to attach some additional um, policies once it opens uh, I'm, go I'm going to attach a policy okay and this will be aws lambda vp vpc access execution role okay let's attach this policy okay and then i will want to attach another policy this will be um amazon elastic file system clear client read write access 
okay so let's attach this policy as well okay this should do it and now I will go back to my um, lambda function and let's go back to the configuration tab in order to use EFS my lambda function needs to uh, be able to use the VPC so we will attach it to the VPC but this means that your lambda function will lose internet access so if you want to uh, uh, use uh, services that are outside of the VPC you will need to set up a NAT gateway uh, let's edit the VPC configuration and I will uh, choose here a custom VPC and I will use my default VPC here let's select all the subnets I have here in this VPC um, K and the default security group okay it's selected now let's save this configuration now once this saves I will also want to uh, set up my um, EFS drive here so that can be set up here in the file system section let's add file system and here I will choose this one which is the only one and the access point I've set up with the sum path um, setting and here I will need to specify local mount path this always needs to be with MNT and then I will um, use some path so it always has to start with uh, dot uh, slash MNT and uh, after that the, the path uh, name now I will wait until my um, uh, lambda function finishes the update and then I will be able to save it here okay so it uh, finished and I can now save this um, file system setting here for the lambda function and once this is done we can uh, actually write some code so we have this uh, um, node.js code here which is generated by default by lambda we will want to uh, use the fs module from node.js so const fs will be required and uh, here will be fs okay and here in the default handler I will uh, just write a file to the EFS drive so it will be fs write file sync and I will need to provide the path this will be mnt mount um, some path and then my file name let's use hello .txt and uh, the file content I want to save there will be hello from lambda to EFS okay let's uh, save this and I want to uh, test run this function I will uh, click here on test and write here some dummy name for this test event let's create and now test the function okay so it should have uh, written now uh, that small message to the EFS drive and we will test this by uh, creating um, another lambda function let's go back to the functions and create a function I will call this read from EFS and this uh, for this I will not create a new role but I will reuse the role that I've already created so use an existing role and I will select this write to EFS role let's create a function 
I will still need to set up uh, the VPC configuration and the uh, drive configuration. So let's go down here and first we'll edit the VPC configuration. I will add it to the uh, a custom VPC, the default one that I have here. Now also the uh, security group and then let's just save. And then let's go and set up also the drive the file system okay here i will also use this uh, access point i've set up with the same uh, local mount path okay you still need to wait until this uh, updates and then i will be able to uh, um, save okay so now it finished I will save it and then we can just go and uh, modify our code to read data from um, the EFS uh, drive the EFS file system <laughs> more correctly put okay so now here in the code I will want to have a variable var text uh, evfs read file sync oh actually let's use const because it's more correct okay read file sync and i will provide the path to my file okay some path i will used and also hello.txt okay now let's log use console log to log this to the console and I will use text because this is a buffer let's use to string and ut utf8 okay now let's see what happens I first save it and set up a test event also this is a dummy one okay let's save this oh I forgot to import FS so let's import that one done and now save it again and test it oh so execution results succeeded if I open it this is the default uh, response but here if I look at this line you will see that I have this which is coming from that uh, file I have uh, saved in the um, in the previous function we can even go back to that uh, function and look at it so right to EFS now I can <coughs> just modify the code to write hello from lambda to EFS and this seems to work okay let's save give it a test run it has run and now let's read it I will read it again use test and this reads and here you see the info line hello from lambda to efs this seems to work okay so as you can see this is how you can uh, uh, write to an elastic file system from lambda and this is how you can read from elastic file system 
and the great thing is that uh, your uh, data is preserved even this if this lambda uh, container uh, stops running or you delete your function your code uh, i mean your uh, data remains on the elastic uh, file system you could actually spin up an ec2 instance uh, let's do that and uh, see that data uh, there in on the drive okay so let's launch an instance I will use Amazon Linux AMI um, here what I want to do is uh, I want to set add the file system uh, I've created before and it will be uh, added in the uh, slash mnt slash efs slash fs1 uh, I will add storage um, okay tags as configure security group I will want to put it in the default security group okay let's review and launch okay I will use uh, an existing keeper let's use this EC2 bastion and let's launch the instance and once this instance is uh, has launched I will connect to it uh, via SSH and see what's on the uh, EFS uh, file system the ins instance started so now let's open a terminal um, let's say do it to EC2 where my key is and I will issue the SSH minus I and um, identity file and then the username and uh, IP address of the server let's do this and now I'm connected to the EC2 instance and uh, now I should ha uh, have here let's see uh, do the CD MNT and EFS and I think FS1 okay FS1 LS and I have there the sum path uh, directory let's see if I can uh, go in but I can't because it said says permission denied I will just temporarily um, uh, give a permission of uh, for everyone to access this uh, directory so let's see now I could now go in if I do an ls there is my hello txt and if I do a cat on it and you can see it displays the text we have written from uh, lambda to this file and now even if I go and delete these functions uh, my uh, data is still here here on this uh, EFS uh, file system and I can access it anytime okay I think it's uh, enough for today i hope you liked this video if you did then please subscribe to the channel uh, like the video share it follow me on social media and i hope to see you soon in another uh, video about uh, cloud computing have a great day